Hey everyone, Sean Clement here at the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center, headquarters for Wisdom in Golf, and we have one of our fabulous Wisdom in Golf <laughs> players here. Chris has had a couple of recent benchmarks. Oh yeah. You've had a, a wonderful 81 in a match. You've won two really nice matches recently right. in match play, right? Yep. So he's enjoying a nice little run right now. And um, in our session for today, one of the observations that he's made recently, excuse me, it's a little bright out here. One of the observations that he's made is when he's setting up to hit a stock draw, whereas, so if you uh, go ahead and set up parallel to this club here, uh, Chris. So set up, it's like, yeah. Um, other so let's say we're doing a shot from the white flag to the red flag, and we set up parallel to this club to go to red flag, so right? I would do it. No, no, the way I want you, the way we did it originally. Oh, okay. Like the, uh, our stock wisdom and golf way of drawing the oh, ball. okay. Yes. So, like so when you're set up like that and you play the ball back, get behind it, right now you feel like you can't finish the backswing. No, It I feels feel like, bunched yeah. up. Yeah. So, and, and that actually happens. So if you, if you go back to one of our videos entitled um, 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 Hogan Reflections Diagonal Stance, this is going to be part two of this video, okay? And I'm going to show you guys a, a, an amazing blueprint on how you're going to be able to do this. So to you, it feels like you'll have a hard time to get the ball out toward yeah. that white flag. Yeah. So what you did, show me what you did naturally where you felt really good and, and it allowed you to, to make a, a, a well, yeah. good positive swing. So naturally, without even noticing it, I just slowly started dipping my right foot back a little. Yep. Not intentionally, but yep. kind of closing myself. Yep. From here, it feels like now I have all the space to really cut the grass in that direction. Yes. Now, you said wood planing was one of his favorite oh, yeah. analogies. So, in other words, right now it feels like you could plane wood nicely toward the white flag, which is where you want to start the ball for yeah. your draw. Now, what we did, now notice at the beginning of the session, you were hooking a couple. Yes. So, I had noticed that your ball position in relation to your alignment was just a smidge too far forward. Yeah. So then we, we decided to make an adjustment with the ball position. Go ahead. So you tell me where it feels like the ball needs to be. So if you release at the white flag, it will give you the draw that you want, but you won't short side yourself. In other words, you won't go past the red flag. Yeah, right there. That feels pretty good. Yeah. So now from this position here, all you need to do is plain wood in, in the direction you want to start the ball. Yes. Okay. No worries. It's your first time on camera? Yeah, of course I made it fat <laughs> on my first shot. That's it. No worries, man. Let's try that again. They can already see that you've got a lovely golf swing. Oh, amazing. Perfect. Oh boy, right that could white. be in the hole, you guys. Coming back to red. So that started around the white flag and came right back. It landed about three feet right of the red flag. And with a little bit of spin, a little hop, that's going to hop to the left. That could have easily been in the hole. So that's a brilliant golf shot. Amazing, yeah. So didn't that feel incredible? Incredible. Okay. So let's rewind back to our, our one leg drill. Stand right here in front of me. Okay. So I'll, I'll do a little demo for this. Now, if I was going to do a draw on one leg, so we go back to the one leg drill. I'm lining up on red. I want to start it towards white. So I need an intermediate point for that. I'm going to use this T right here, or actually for you guys to see properly, I'm going to use that yellow ball. So right now, this yellow ball right here is basically lined up on red. Good. So I want to start to the right of this ball and draw back towards red. So I get on one leg. Now watch my center of gravity, you guys, when I bring my, my foot back. See how it brings my center of gravity yeah. backwards and toward my front leg. Okay. So that means I'm going to have to get a little closer. So I get set up and I'm going, okay. If I let it release in that direction, it feels like I'm going to, I'm going to, the ball's going to start here and draw back. If I play the ball too far forward, I have to lunge for it. No good. If I play it too far back, I'm going to have to reach back or else it's going to go too far out to the right. But right here, it feels like it can go and perform the draw that I want. So I let it go to the right edge. So right edge, right edge. And I've got that draw going from white to red. Now that overcooked and it felt like my ball position was just a hair too far forward in my stance. 
So we'll put that a hair more back in the stance. There we go. I'm going to stay to the right edge. Notice okay. now I got exactly the right amount of curve. Okay. So that's uh, three feet to the left of the flag. Yeah. Now, if I wanted to fade the ball, I would line up in a way that would keep me. So if I want to go red to white, I'm going to go left edge, play the ball a little more forward, and now I'm going to stay left edge back and through. So you notice when my foot's back, my body alignment has nothing to do with where the direction of the yeah, momentum's exactly. going. No. Right. So there's great practice for you. So you play the ball. Notice, doesn't that look like I'm going to stay to the left of that intermediate point? Yeah, it does from there. And then that, if I play the ball position too far back? No way. Yeah. No way. Too far forward? No way. Right about here. Pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. So now I stay left of the intermediate point. Left edge, left edge. Left edge. Notice that gorgeous fade flavor? Beautiful. And I'm just holding it against the wind right there, and it's going to land just a little left of red. Yeah. So, using the diagonal stance, like you just experienced, all you need to do is be aware, using that intermediate point, just be aware, does it fit how you want to move around that intermediate point? So, let's go ahead and get set up for that same shot. Okay. Come on in there. So, that's red flag, okay. and to the right edge of that would be the white flag. Yeah, exactly, and especially when I'm on the range. Uh... I should be looking out there more, but a lot of time you spend I'm staring at the ground. Well, that's then, it. Yeah. As long as you have an intermediate point yeah. to organize yourself. So you say, okay, it feels like I can start the ball there and end the ball right behind that intermediate point. You see, I want to get right in here like this. Good. Closed. <laughs> Excellent. So for you, it feels like you've got full freedom yeah. to plain wood that way. Absolutely. Fantastic. Let's see it. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Right over white, back to red, and you stayed so long and deep with the shot that, that you, act ball, you actually yeah. hit the second ball. I thought I hit a bad shot, actually, because I heard the second ball, and I now, thought it was bad. Yeah. That was awesome, man. <laughs> so look how beautifully you're staying with the shot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay? That was phenomenal. Now, let's try a little fade. So I'll, I'll put that a little further out. Okay. <laughs> See, so you just outdid the teacher on that one. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to put the intermediate point just a hair left. So we're going to start just left edge of that intermediate point there and fade it back to white. Okay. So how would you set up with that beautiful stance of yours to do that? So what you're looking for is you want to feel like you can plain wood that way. Yeah. And if you plane with that way, with the club face relationship that you have in the ball position, it feels like the ball wants to spin a little to the right. Yes. Is that cool? That's what it feels like. Right on, man. Awesome. Little left fading against the wind, yeah. That's all, exactly. Yeah. It started right on line. It stayed there, and then our crosswind kind of brought it a little yeah. bit more left. We got a we got a pretty big crosswind coming in from the uh, El Norte, <laughs> so that was phenomenal. You could see, and you'll you'll see it on camera when you see this video. You'll see that the initial ball flight was exactly in the direction you right. wanted to, and it really matched your takeaway quite nicely. So let's do one more like that. Not bad. So, yeah, I need to practice my fades a little more. You need, yeah, you know, okay, I, I don't cool. practice them very often. I've been hitting the draw so well that I just, even when I should be hitting a fade, I like hitting the draw. Well, that's that's yeah. cool, man. Yeah. You're doing great. So let's just do one more. Okay. So you felt what was missing in there, right? I did. I didn't plane to this side. I just defaulted to my draw plane. So. Fantastic. I'll get it this time. There. Look at that. Perfect. Amazing.
Yeah, I just had to make sure I remembered to plane to that side. That's an awesome yeah. display of carpentry, man. <laughs> so you can see how we, we got the task accomplished with the way you felt you needed to do. This is a, a, a new page, a new chapter in Wisdom in Golf. This is what made me a better teacher today, thanks to the feedback of our student, okay? And that's what a good coach does. The first thing he says, he says, I feel better like this. Okay, I'm listening. I'm, I'm gonna see what fits with anatomy and what fits with the physics. And this was absolutely brilliant, what we did today. And it just goes to show, now if we, just to finish this off, you guys remember the, um, the sledgehammer analogy, right? So if I'm hammering a nail into oh, a like door that frame. One. That would help me stay behind the ball really well. Well, that's it. So yeah. there's my door frame. I could be closed, but it doesn't mean that the hammer's got to follow the alignment of my shoulders or my body. That has nothing to do with it. So just like when we talk about the battering ram, you got your battering ram. The arms and the club are ramming through the door, but notice how much the body is turning. So notice my, my whole body is turned well behind the ball, but my arms, the, the path of my arm swing has nothing to do with the turn of the body. The relationship is the body turns out of the way to allow the arms to plane wood in the direction we want the ball to go. And what you felt like is when, you, when your right foot came back, it felt like it opened everything right up to allow you to do that. And I actually have a little bit of that flavor in my swing, right? And then um, my next practice session, you know what I'm going to be doing, okay? Chris, thank hey, you so much. Thanks, I really appreciate it. I'm sure everyone here appreciates it. Oh, yeah. Continued thanks. success, buddy. I absolutely will. All thank right. You. All the best, you guys.